In the fall of 1990, I moved to the East Coast and for 14 years tried fishing from land at places like Haynes Point, Wayson's Corner, Fort Washington, and Allen's Fresh. Sometimes I caught fish, but too many times I didn't until a neighbor invited me to go fishing across the Bay Bridge out of Kent Narrows. And that's when I first discovered the black captains of the Chesapeake. I'm Captain Warren Butler, W-A-R-R-E-N Butler, B-U-T-L-E-R. And my vessel's named the April M. My name is Aldrich Murdoch. Most people call me Captain Murdoch. It's E-L-D-R-I-D-G-E, Eldridge, Murdith, M-E-R-E, D-I-T-H. My name is Captain Lloyd Price, L-L-O-Y-D-P-R-I-C-E. I'm Daryl, Captain Daryl, D-A-R-R-E-L-L, -L, uh, the Mr. Valley. My name is Captain George Roy. Captain George Roy, captain of the fishing lady. I'm uh, Captain Andrew Wright, A-N-D-R-E-W, W-I-G-H-T, Alicia Ann. My name is Montreux Wright, uh, M-O-N-T-R-O, last name is Wright, W-I-G-H-T. Shirley B-3, Shirley B-3. These are just a few of the captains that for over 50 years have sailed out of Kent Narrows, providing access to the fishing bounty of the Chesapeake Bay. These skilled watermen have plied their trade and made a living on these waters from generation to generation. And their history in the area goes back even further.